Lovely to see you again. Yay. It's time once again to cruise away for half an hour with Derek and Joe. Looking very bright and beautiful like we're on so a morning good. show here, yes, aren't we? I love it. Uh, we are off to lands near and far today on our cruise and stay adventures once again. We are. We've got a plus of an offer with Princess coming up for the start of 2026, cruising Thailand and Malaysia whilst enjoying drinks, Wi-Fi, extra dining and many other perks courtesy of Princess Plus. We'll also be cruising Bali to Brisbane with Royal Caribbean Caribbean for next November on a bumper trip which also has relaxing stays in Bali and Singapore included and all for a winning price tag of course. Sounds as always incredible. Let's start our signature package collection today then with a bestseller booking fast here at Cruiserway as we head to the Arctic Circle in Ooh. search of the Northern Lights with Cunard over an 18 night trip starting on the 18th of March in 2026. Now we'll enjoy checking into the premium lounge at Sydney Airport first before we fly you over to London in the UK for a three night hotel stay uh, and a nice time of year. I say this at all times of the year. I don't think there's a bad time of year to be in London really, but oh, this no. is actually a particularly good time because it's kind of springtime in the UK. Um, things are getting brighter. There's lots of events going on. Lots of the art galleries yeah. are doing new exhibitions and things. And that's quite a nice thing to do uh, in L London. So you can kind of be a real tourist and, and do all the things that you want to hit all the hot spots yeah. that you want to uh, in London. Very, very exciting city, of course, but not quite as exciting as what you're about to enjoy. 13 nights on board with Cunard on the Queen Victoria. We're all sitting up straighter. There she is. This is how you can really experience the uh, life of luxury that you've always dreamed of. And in fact, Cunard do traditional cruising like nobody else because they are the quintessential British original cruise liner um, dating back with a heritage dating back over 100 years. Uh, so talk about all those lovely polished wooden beams, the traditional uh, stripes on the deck chairs, those really uh, fine touches that make cruising so glamorous and luxurious. The ballroom dancing, now, whether you're a ballroom dancing pair, whether you love salsa or tango, or you just like to observe, they do have dance professionals on board uh, that can talk you through and fencing you can do all these kind of like off the wall things things you wouldn't think about doing fencing on a cruise ship is so crazy, I know it? it's nuts isn't it but yeah. it, it might be just maybe it's intrigued you and you're like oh well why not I'm but to go home with the pictures yeah having done that and remember they've got the official photographers on board as well so whether you take your own pictures or you have the photographers on board take them imagine you having your own box in the Royal Court Theatre oh my goodness the pictures of that yes the pictures of the fencing the pictures yeah. of afternoon tea you know that the walk down the glamorous staircase of an evening before you go to dinner mm. I mean all of that makes for the most magical memories and it's just a very small part of the holiday but it will live long in the memory won't it yeah the thermal suites on the ship are beautiful I you know when I was cruising on board I really enjoyed doing that especially on this itinerary when you're going to kind of a chillier part of the world um, to enjoy the thermal suite of an evening perhaps um, and, you know and just go in the sauna the steam room the hot you know the hot bath it's lovely and of course there's a ton of treatments on offer winter gardens lovely too for your afternoon tea and of course that's included every single day you can go buffet style or you can go to the dining room or winter garden and have your uh, afternoon tea every day and, and of course you can if you want to have it champagne, make it champagne, you can do that as well yep. to upgrade it. Yeah. Um, dining, superb, just to enjoy the actual dining room every night, getting dressed to the nines perhaps. Or if you want to go more low key, you can always go up to the buffet. Oh, there's not really a strict dress code up there as well, so that's always good to know. And room service, you know, sometimes we don't feel like socializing, and that's why you have this lovely contrast of being able to do kind of a low key dinner. Or room service so whatever you fancy but certainly if you do um, fancy getting dressed up being treated like you are uh, kings and queens this is the cruise line for you for yes sure. please yes absolutely so out of Southampton we are going that's the port to leave out of yes. over the UK 13 nights first couple of days at sea we're straight up into Norway yes into Andelsnes beautiful nestled between the deep blue Romdalsfjord and the stunning mountain scenery being there in springtime too you're going to see that verdant landscape you're going to see the glaciers of course and the uh, the fjords Tromso's next and this is an overnight on board for you as well where you might have that potential to see of course um, you know the northern lights um, you've got the Arctic Cathedral and the Polaria Aquarium there which are really interesting points in this port as we are so far north as well uh, close to 
you know, the Arctic Circle. So really lovely part of it. Double overnight again to give you optimum viewing potential of the Aurora Borealis in Narvik, uh, which is, you know, comprising of several gorgeous villages, all worth visiting for the natural and cultural experience as well. It's at the end of a fjord, which is, you know, towering mountains and, you know, deep sweeping views, which is stunning. This is what hopefully you're going to see this incredible phenomena of Aurora Borealis recently viewed in Europe actually just a couple of yeah, days ago. Yeah I, I was yeah I was just going to say actually that the, the great thing is I mean you've probably seen in the news that over in the UK a few times this year in yeah. fact the whole of the UK has actually been able to point its smartphone to the sky and see the Aurora from as far south as the UK so you may even see it even when you're journeying up on your cruise up to um, Fjordland and up to Norway as well. Um, of course, the great thing about a cruise like this is that you are going to the area where if the Aurora is out to play, you're in the best vantage point with the least light pollution, with the clearest skies, you know, yes. uh, providing there's, you know, not a lot of cloud and things going on. On your way back to Southampton, you call into Stavanger. Stavanger's beautiful, very, very walkable city, they call it in Norway. It's actually quite a small town. It's wonderful uh, to be in. And then we head back to Southampton in the UK. And then we have to fly back to Oz. Unfortunately, we will transfer you though to Heathrow Airport from the end of the cruise up to the airport. We've also checked you into the premium lounge at Heathrow Airport in London before you fly back as well, yes. which is pretty nice. It's a nice way to round things off. And fingers crossed, you will see the Aurora as well. And the, do you know the funny thing about the Aurora um, is that, because I have seen it a couple of times as well, is that when you look into the sky, even if the Aurora is there, the sky might not necessarily be the colors you imagine the Aurora to be, which is a bit like this shirt, I guess, isn't it? But if you hold your mobile phone camera up to the sky because of the way it, it sees things in the technology, that's where you'll see the Aurora and hopefully get some absolutely great shots of lovely greens and purples and all colors up in the sky. Pretty exciting trip. But listen, it's not necessarily the highlight. The highlight for me is actually being on board with Cunard. I mean, that's incredible. We really have, we've kind of upgraded this experience all the way, right the way through this holiday. So premium lounge access at Sydney Airport before you fly off to London, three fabulous nights in a hotel there, and then your key 13 night voyage on Queen Victoria with Cunard up to the Arctic Circle in search of those Northern Lights. And you know what, even if they're not there, it's the most beautiful, beautiful scenery it's the most serene uh, landscape and vistas all over the place that you will love and of course the grandeur of being on board with Cunard at the end of the cruise we include the transfer back to the airport premium lounge access at Heathrow Airport before you then fly back to Sydney and somehow that first class upgrade that this whole holiday is comes in at this price here and I don't quite know how we've done that. Well, I do actually. I'll tell you how we do it, because it's no major secret. Cruise Away uh, and the Dreamlines company are a global company. So we have offices all the way around the globe. Uh, lots of different bases. That means that we are working in lots of different territories. Uh, we have a couple of brands here in Oz as well. So we have massive buying power. So we're booking a lot of cruises and that gives us great negotiating power with the cruise lines. And of course, we book a lot of hotels, we book a lot of flights, we book a lot of tours. And when you book a lot of something, you get a good deal. Now, for you and I as individuals, that's difficult to do. But for our company, it's brilliant and it's very, very simple. And that is how we've got all this travel at just this price tag here. So don't even hesitate. If you're thinking, I've always wanted to do that kind of experience. Listen, if you want to spend longer in London, if you want to do something on the way back, we can tailor the holiday around the package, but the package as it is, is such a good price tag. Now, if you want to upgrade while you're on board Queen Victoria to something with a better view, we are going to a scenic part of the world, by the way, ocean view balcony and suite prices on the way for you on your screen there. So if you really want to up the ante on the cruise experience itself, I mean, Listen, I'm, I'm not sure what could make this better. Do you know what I mean? Everything about this is fabulous. Yeah. You know, we really have put everything together. You know, even the fact that the um, London hotel stays in, include your breakfast as well, which, you know, can be quite a few dollars on top. You know, we've included that as well. We've managed to get all of that, all of that value 
for that price tag and remember you can spread the cost of that holiday as well we've got travel pay later in place as well with latitude so you can sign up for that very very easily there's no interest um, uh, payments to make on that and you divide the cost of your holiday down to six or twelve equal payments there uh, and and pay it off that way if you want to talk to the team it's very simple to sign you up the number to call by the way one three hundred four double one nine five four if you want to utilize that you can do that with any of our packages by the way and any of our cruises um, it's very very simple to do but what a wonderful wonderful experience and every time I see those pictures that people have been putting up online like you say across Europe recently yeah. of the Aurora the more you see it in reality when real people you know have seen it you think now I want to see it yeah and you really will be in the optimum destination for viewing them oh yeah, this cruise for, sure. um, to, for seeing the most explosive and vivid potential viewings of it so uh, we've got thousands of exciting cruise and stay packages right now on our website which is cruiseaway.com.au so make sure you have a little look but not before you've heard about a very special package for the start of 2026 where you can you know, inclusively cruise on the Diamond Princess as part of a two week bargain. Now it starts on January the 28th in 2026 by flying over from Sydney to Singapore for a two night hotel stay there, uh, which is a wonderful, you know, starting off point to many adventures in the East. I think, uh, you know, Singapore has tons to offer. Uh, a lot of Aussies tend to really use it as a stopover point, you know, maybe just going in the airport if you're going over to Europe, but it's nice to actually have a solid couple of days there to enjoy the markets, to enjoy the luxury of, um, you know, Gardens by the Bay, Raffles Hotel, all of that fun stuff. Uh, Singapore Zoo is fantastic as well. Then it is time to cruise on board Diamond Princess. You're going to be on board for 11 nights as well, which is a really nice amount of time to cruise princess plus is in included as well so this is going to give you a lot of extras you're going to have your drinks included you're going to have your wi-fi included in princess uh, plus so that gives you you know a little something extra to not have to budget or think about oh so much included in yeah as well you know more included diamond uh, dining that would normally have uh, a charge to it yeah uh, no extra charges for room service when you decide to use that um, they also have the ocean now delivery as well because you wear the little um, medallion chip coin so food and drink that you order to your favorite lounger um, no extra delivery charges for that either so it's a really really nice addition and it's a good drinks package as well I have to say and having Wi-Fi you know even though a cruise holiday is nice to get away from everything it's quite nice now to know that you can get onto your messaging apps and just check in and make sure everybody's all right or, or whatever it might be. Yeah. Uh, so as much as it's nice to be away, at least you can still be in touch with the Wi-Fi. Maybe you're doing a little bit of research on things to do in the ports you're about to see as well. Yeah, and booking things and you've got, because you have that Wi-Fi, it makes it so easy to do, um, especially in these ports of call, which are gonna be culturally rich. You've got a full service fitness uh, center and a traditional onsen Japanese spa experience as well. Well, which is going to be amazing. Uh, freshwater pools and hot tubs, of course, abound around the vessel. Uh, lots of lovely uh, bars and nooks for you to enjoy. The staterooms are spectacular on Princess. We just recently went on board one of the ships, and yeah. I have to say, so homely yet luxurious super comfortable mattresses when if you upgrade to a suite by the way you are in the absolute lap of luxury you're going to have all the bells and whistles and all the extravagance that you really deserve Ooh, and we and we saw bathtubs in some of those as well oh sunken tubs and, and that just feels such a major extravagance yes. when you're on a cruise doesn't it really but it's a lovely thing to do maybe it's something you don't you know have time to do nor ordinarily yeah. you know in everyday life it's just a real luxury such a treat yeah to do yeah. it on holiday so if you do decide to um, upgrade to a suite for instance some of them do have uh, wonderful uh, bathtubs in them just talk to our team uh, they can talk you through of course quite the opposite of the bathtub is the Skywalker's nightclub there. Yeah, That'll exactly. You, you might need a long hot soak after that. The theme nights as well, moving <laughs> under the stars. And they do, do, they'll do, you know, particularly in this part of the world, you'll have traditional theme nights and, and a cruise show. Uh, cruising out of Singapore, Kuala Lumpur is our first, first port, uh, which is such a bustling, exciting capital. Um, but at the same time, you also have lots of you know, traditional things to visit, like the Batu Caves with hundreds of years of history. Then it's Langkawi in Malaysia, 
which is a group of 99 tropical islands actually off the coast um, of, of Malaysia and you have got the mangroves there so you can take a mangrove trip which would be very interesting I think um, boat tour speak to the princess team about booking Phuket's up next beautiful held as the pearl of the Andaman Sea I was just there in April they have elephant elephant sanctuaries you can head out uh, to Fifi Island for spectacular snorkeling as well so do book a trip to do that and again the ship can take care of that for you as well uh, then we're into Penang which is uh, Georgetown the capital is one of the best preserved cities in Southeast Asia and it's UNESCO listed you've got loads of gorgeous buildings there uh, tour recommendation would be the habitat at Penang Hill uh, Koh Samui is next on the list beautiful archipelago of Thailand um, and Thong Marine Park is a lovely full day tour you can do is snorkeling you can go and see the little monkeys sea kayaking out on a boat for the day or maybe you just want to do some shopping right there uh, then we're into the capital of Thailand Bangkok which is bustling exciting full of markets uh, lots of energy uh, you can take a tuk-tuk around the city as well which is a very interesting experience tons mm -hmm. to see and do there uh, then we're going to disembark in Singapore and we've got another cheeky night there before we head back to Oz and of course your end-to-end -end flights are included but nice to have um, a final night to decompress before before you head home if you haven't gone to raffles you've got to do it you've got to have the signature singapore sling cocktail or the virgin cocktail just to say you did it it's quite the experience um, and the skyline of singapore you're going to take a boat trip along the river that would be amazing yeah definitely i was i was just thinking back to when you were talking about langkawi there taking the little mangrove boat tour and I was just thinking how much that will make you appreciate being back on board Diamond Princess yeah. as well. Do you know <laughs> right. Because uh, there's quite a few of these because obviously we go into coastal ports. That's the nature of cruise holidays, isn't it? Um, and sometimes there are boat tours and mangrove tours and, you know, far from the madding crowd tours. Um, and they all are very exciting to do because they get you really into the heart and soul of a place. But they really do make you appreciate being back on board Diamond Princess, especially when you've been exploring somewhere new. What a two-week adventure. Do you fancy it? It looks lovely, doesn't it? Uh, we include the flights, of course, as Joe mentioned, so to and from Singapore on this one. You've got three nights in all in hotel in Singapore, two before the cruise and one after. And your cruise, of course, is 11 nights full board, plus, 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 plus on the Diamond Princess because we have the Princess Plus inclusions as well. So that's a really, really good premium drinks package in there. You've got Wi-Fi, you've got extra dining, you've got fitness classes, premium desserts and a whole host of other perks which are going to be part of your cruise but they are not adding to the bottom line they are not adding to your price tag whatsoever because look at this that is stunning and we remember we've made all the arrangements for you you don't need to do any of the booking you know what it's like when you're trying to plan trips you're on this website for that and, and is it better over there is it better over there i'll compare to this i'll compare to that before you know it you've either gone way over budget doing next to nothing or you've just gone oh do you know what let's not bother and actually with this we've done all the bother for you we've booked all the flights the hotels the cruise we've sorted all of that out for you and we've made it inclusive as well for a price that actually you think, yeah, you know what? You have the hassle cruise away of doing all the booking. I'll just smile, I'll hand over my $3,999 and then just enjoy a dream holiday. Thank you very much. And if you want to upgrade to, we were talking about the suites earlier with the bathtubs in them, the balconies, the ocean views, let's check out the prices for those for you. If you want to upgrade to those, um, uh, you know what? You are going to have the greatest time. You are going to have the greatest time because Princess, they really know how to do cruising. The Diamond Princess pretty much lives in Singapore, doesn't yeah. it? Uh, every time we talk about the Diamond Princess, she's out of Singapore. It's her part of the world. So her crew and her team know that part of the world incredibly well. You get lots of tips and advice, by the way, while you're on the cruise of ideas of things to do they've got sure excursions that you can choose to book uh, along the way as well so don't think that because you're going somewhere unfamiliar that you suddenly need to buy you know the rough guide to Phuket and the rough guide to Koh Samui and the mm. rough guide to Kuala Lumpur you don't need to do all of that at all because well of course YouTube is a great thing right now isn't it you can watch other people's uh, holidays on YouTube but there's lots of information on the ship as well and while we're talking YouTube don't forget all of our shows 
Oh, nice segue, are on our YouTube channel to watch right now. All you need to do is search for Cruiseway and you'll find us, subscribe there and you'll always be in the know. Now, our final signature package is in and out of Brisbane for 19 nights, starting on the 11th of November next year. Now, we're going to be cruising with Royal Caribbean on this one, but we have two amazing stays before we do. Now, the first one flies us from Brisbane over to gorgeous Bali to enjoy five nights of ultimate discovery and relaxation time here in a hotel. Your second home, Joe. Oh, yeah, I know. I've got to go back there soon. <laughs> How many times have you been? I think four times. There you go. Um, it's, you know, many Australians have visited Bali due to the proximity, but maybe you haven't, or maybe you just can't get enough. Like, I think so many of us love this paradisical experience of being on the island of the gods. Everyone's so friendly and wel welcoming. You've got gorgeous beaches. You've got great marine life. You've got those, um, you know, folklore shows as well, like up in Uluwatu Temple, where you can not only see the traditional show at sunset, but you can see the cheeky little monkeys, which will come and greet uh -huh. you um what's the, what's the one thing for someone who's never been there before what's the one thing that you'd say you have to do this oh goodness um oh, temples so many things temples for sure because they're spectacular yeah um and you know you you have some world famous um history but it also it, it's tied in with the destination like some of them are on the beachfront then we're on to singapore um there is the merlion uh, you've got two nights in a hotel and uh, singapore is like like you know it is a stopping off point for many of us, but I love the, um, you know, the old meets new in Singapore. Bit of a Got contrast luxury. to Bali, Bali, right? It is very different. It's much slower paced. Um, it's very opulent Singapore. And you also have, I mean, you've got some amazing plant species to go and visit in gardens by the bay. I mean, they have some, some really exotic species there and the orchid garden's incredible too. Then it's time to cruise and we are going on board Voyager of the Seas for 12 nights. It's like this holiday, we, we kind of turn up the volume, but slowly. Yes. You know, Bali first, Singapore, and then the ultimate on board with Royal Caribbean yeah. um, on Voyager of the Seas. Royal Caribbean are just such great innovators when it yes. comes to the um, to, to, to the cruise business. You know, whether it's just you two as a couple or you've got the whole family with you, maybe there's a party of 27, which is not unusual at all for big family groups to go away on a holiday like this. Because just think about it for a second. You've got the kids and the grandkids, you know, loving the kids clubs, all the parades, all the fun stuff, the water yep. parks and all the rest of it. Uh, the adults have got their places, you know, their adults playgrounds as well oh, uh, to, to go and play. But there's lots of things that you can do together as a whole family as well. I mean, skating, for instance. Yes. You know, it's great fun even if you have got two left feet there is no greater joy than actually stepping onto the ice and, and the novelty of doing it on a cruise ship as well yeah. yeah so skating rock climbing you've got the flow rider for surfing too mini golf uh there's the arcade realm as well you've got um of course, when it comes to dining, tons of options, including branded options like Johnny Rockets. Uh, the parades you mentioned there, Derek, I mean, mm. they, they're very big on doing things like 70s and 80s night um, on Royal Caribbean nice. and also theme specific, you know. So we're heading into Banoa first, which is in northern Bali. Uh, great stopping off points. I know you've had some time in Bali already for the beautiful thermal springs in that part of uh, the island and also the, the volcano. You can visit Mount um, Agung, uh, which is very interesting. Then we're into Darwin up in the great north you can head to the Terri Territory Wildlife Park or uh, Kakadu of course there to see some incredible wildlife a Crocosaurus Cove is very interesting as well <laughs> only for the brave yeah Crocs and sharks abound. Uh, then we're into Cairns, and of course, uh, boasting three of the natural wonders of Oz, you have the Great Barrier Reef, you have Daintree right there, and you have also got the beautiful, um, you know, Corunda Scenic Railway to visit whilst you're up there too. So then we're into Ellie Beach. Now, if you've never been to the reef before, which is, you know, a lot of Australians still haven't been to the reef. You could take a helicopter tour above it to see Heart Reef. That would be unforgettable. Kayaking, snorkeling, boat, however you want to experience it. We're going to disembark in Brisbane. So easy breezy, this one. Strolling off close to home. And maybe you're in Brisbane, maybe you're not far. You could drive home or we can talk about um, national flights as well, which we can organise for you. So wonderful little trip, this one. What an excuse to buy a new pair of shorts. Yep. Isn't it? What a brilliant holiday this is. Some lovely time in Bali, five nights in Bali, then two nights in Singapore, 
and then your fabulous cruise with Royal Caribbean on Voyager of the Seas. I mean, this is just perfect, isn't it? We do all the arranging for you as well. We've done all of that. So we've got your flight from Brisbane to Bali. We've got the five nights in the hotel there. That's all booked. Then we fly you from Bali to Singapore. We've got two nights in the hotel there booked there for you. Then you've got the 12 night cruise with Royal Caribbean, bringing you back slowly but surely all the way back to Brisbane. Amazing, isn't it? Oh, and the price tag, which sounds like tens of thousands of dollars, right? Look, it's really good. I mean, that's a holiday and a half. If you were thinking of taking the whole family away on a holiday like this, what an amazing amount of holiday and variety of holiday you're getting for what you're spending. I mean, you could spend that very, very easily flying to one destination, staying there, and then coming back. That's it, nothing else. No food included, no entertainment included, no pools for you to lavish in, etc, etc, etc. No variety of places to go. This gives you massive, massive variety if you think about it. You've got the stay in Bali, which you can do with that five nights in a hotel with as you want to. You can go to the beach every day if you want to. You can go exploring every day. You can go up into the mountains, go see the temples, go and take all the recommendations that people give you. And same in Singapore as well. Just lavish in the hotel do the fun stuff, do some shopping, whatever it might be. And then on the cruise, go for your life and just enjoy everything that's on board. You'll absolutely love it. Here are the upgrade prices, by the way, if you want to upgrade just for the cruise element of it. So the 12 nights on the cruise on Voyager of the Seas, very ocean view and balcony prices. They have suites on board as well, if you want to talk to the team about those. Uh, again, just call us 1300 411954. But what's not to love about this holiday? I mean, it's 19 nights, so in terms of timing, it's perfect. In terms of variety, we've well, got Bali, Singapore staying, and then the cruising, which is going pretty much here, there, and everywhere, isn't it? I mean, uh, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. It's funny as well, it's great that one of the first ports on this takes you back into Bali, because the worst thing would be if you met someone on day one of the cruise, and you were talking to them about the time you just had in Bali, and they said, well, didn't you see so-and-so and so-and-so? And, -so? and you think, no, I didn't. You've got the chance to do it because you're cruising back in there for the yeah. day. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's amazing. Um, yeah, that's a very good point, isn't it? Mm. You know, you could always do with more time in Bali because there's so much oh, to see and yeah. do there. Um, and indeed, you hop over to the neighbouring islands to the Gili Islands, Guinea Tra Gili Tranawan, Gili Air, uh, you know, Lombok. Yeah, so you've got lots of options there, which is fantastic. It would be nice to do, wouldn't it? Uh, yes, absolutely. So do get booking because these offers will book fast. Um, and have a look on our website because we've got tons of offerings for you on there for whatever you're looking for. You know, if you're looking for further afield, um, European package, Packages, or if you're looking for something closer to home, uh, we can absolutely cater to your needs here at Cruise Away. Yeah, something else you need to know as well. There are some amazing flash events that are going on at the moment. The best way of keeping yourself up to date with those, just go to the website, cruiseaway.com.au, go right to the bottom, and it'll have a space there to put your email address in and sign up, and we'll give you daily updates of the latest hot offers. It might be money off your cruise, it might be extra drinks, it might be extra onboard spend, it might be 60% off your next cruise price, who knows what it will be, but unless you're signed up, you won't get the memo, so make sure you get yourself signed up. We're here on Gecko, remember, three times a day uh, to bring you more holiday ideas. So before you know it, we will be back to cruise away once more. But from Joe and myself for now, have a great day. Bye.